All right, we're here with our 1963 Alcourt Sunfish Chip. We're uh, making some patterns today. We took some uh, fancy brown paper and um, laid a piece along the side and pinned it. The, the top edge is a straight edge. So it just takes a gentle rise or dip if you, if you look at the boat right side up. And then it narrows back down up at the bow. So we just laid it along the straight edge but left it uh, just shy of the uh, deck. And then we took a uh, exacto knife and just trimmed along the edge all the way down. And what this will give us is a, uh, is a pattern where we could rough out the side of the boat. If we do that we'd want to leave it just a little bit proud. You could cut it leave it straight along this edge but we'd cut we'd leave just a little extra here so you can get it and uh, make it a nice uh, fair curve of course you could do that before you put it on the boat just get uh, both of them all fared up even and make the cuts and get them both uh, looking the same and then you can do the beveling speaking of beveling I'll make a note on the pattern that um, where these frames come down, this, this inner edge of the plank is higher than the outer edge because the bevels are going down that way. So I'll just make a note to cut it to eighth of an inch or so proud and that way we'll have room to uh, shave that bevel. If we were to cut it only the depth is inner edge, that surface would be flat and when the paint plank came down an angle uh, you wouldn't have uh, surfaces to match up. We have a pattern for the uh, bottom panels, fore and aft, and we, on those we marked, so we have a little template that will show us where the uh, stringers are underneath, so when we get the new panels on, we can just lay this over the top of it. Drill some holes for some number 8 by 3 quarter inch screws, and that helps to hold the panel down. That surface, uh, you can see on the other side, it's, it's not glued. And the boat, it's also also not glued on these uh, frames. So the only areas it's going to be glued are along the edge and along the uh, keel longer on. And then we get back to the cockpit. It will be glued and screwed along this fore and aft cockpit uh, panel and then back on the stern. So that's... Um, it's one of the reasons we kind of liked uh, when we sanded all the paint off a zip, we could see where all the fasteners were, like on the on the side and on the deck, and we can get some pictures and notes of that. And then a spoiler alert, we're probably going to take uh, zip back to the original red color with uh, the mahogany combing and the mahogany uh, side trim. It's got two good coats of... Um, West Systems Epoxy with Special Clear Hardener. So now that it's got that base coat, we're uh, thinking about going back to red. So the skipper can uh, warn everyone way in advance when she's out on the water. We'll also mark where the uh, little frames are at, just kind of as a reference. But we'll certainly uh, need to mark where they're at back here, because this is only a little uh, half inch thick piece of plywood so there's nails here it's gonna go down so we'll piece the paper and mark it with the with our little sharpie so that we know where to uh, put the uh, nails in that'll actually go into that uh, bulkhead to trace the uh, bottom panels we just use the old bottom panels now we're going to see if we can get a piece uh, out of those big enough to make the floorboards for a chip. So I hope you all are doing great and we'll check in again with you soon.